Hi, this tutorial will show you how to make a parametric square based on points and vectors. So the first two examples are very simple squares uh, and you can change the size and the location and rotation. So the first, we're going to start with constructing a point. So that is just a point. So you have to type construct and the points and you will get a point that is based on X, Y and Z coordinate. So the next is you type vector. So this is constructing the vectors um, based off x, y, z coordinate again. So this will give and assign the x dire direction or y direction or z directional vector information. The first one will become x vector. So I'm going to control G, control G. That will create group and I will assign x and y just to give a uh, easy of navigation. So what we have to do next is that we'll have to uh, give this vec vectoral information to a center point. So by typing slider, you'll be able to add the numerical data to these vectors. So that 0.25, the slider goes to X and Y node. That will be able to, you'll be able to control the Y location or the vector size uh, by dragging the slider up and down. So next is you type addition. This will give these vector information uh, to the point. So by, by adding this V to B, you'll be able to um, move your center point to, to X direction, which is in X axis, in a more, more correct way of saying it. So they connect this V, sorry, V to B, that will allow you to move the center point in upwards. So the, we need to generate this, uh, the point in diagonal, uh, uh, diagonal uh, axis. So the, the, the way that you create this is add X and Y vector together, and let's add this information to the center point again. Uh, point goes point goes to A and R goes to B. So that you will see that this has generated rectangular formation of points. So to make the square, you all, you all you need to do is just connect X slider to Y, which makes the whole square move equally. So this is this is how to generate that. So next is a bit more sophisticated and more complicated uh, way of creating parametric square. So we're starting the same way by constructing a point. So type construct point. So that will give X, Y, Z. That is by default sitting in 0, 0, 0 coordinate. So this time we use uh, X unit and Y unit. That has predetermined X, Y, uh, a vector information in there. So second, what we're going to do, we're going to assign the uh, slider to this X and Y vector. So by, by connecting these two to X and Y that you, you know from previous uh, example that these will generate X, Y equal movement uh, in direction. So we want to display and, and this vector, so this simple way of is it just typing display vector and connect A, which is anchor, to, to this V, uh, which is vector. So connect that to Y axis that you can immediately see X and Y uh, vector in that model space. So now we're going to uh, move on to uh, creating a, a different direction so that you can see the cross so if you type reverse vector so that will allow you to reverse X so I'm gonna create group and name that X reverse and now I'm going to create another one that is reverse Y so type reverse and connect Y to V and you double click that group that will make the square group and you rename that to Y reverse so let's visualize this again by typing and oh, maybe simply copy and paste and copy that vector display and connect that to X reverse and 
copy that again and paste and connect V2 Y reverse. There you can see we just created a cross vector information. So this really is by simple by all simple means that it can, you can create a, a scalable cross shape. All we need to do now is we need to generate a point or vector information that goes directional way between these vector points. So the, the, the way to create this is you we have to add x and y um, vector together that will move in uh, in diagonal space between x and y. So you you create addition and connect this x and y um, that you will be able to see. So let's just type this to make it a bit more clear. So I will just create a group and name it x, y, vec which is x, y vector. And let's display that. Control C, Control V, and connect that to V. Then you can see that you've generated the one that, you've generated the vector that moves in between x and y axis. And next, you're gonna do the same thing, which moves between x and y reverse. So we need to connect x and y reverse. So, add these two and let's name it to x and y reverse rev that stands for reverse and vector vec yep and you control that and control v to display x y reverse vector connect that you see that that's been generated in diagonal way and we're going to carry on the same exercise for so this time is x reverse and y reverse. So we know where x and y reverse is. So this is y. You have to make this into a habit to, to understand where you created what. Um, so this is x reverse and y reverse. So let's name them x rev, y rev, vec. Let's display that again and copy and paste that. You connect V to R, which is a result of A and B. Um, and now, final vector, which is between Y, uh, not Y reverse, sorry, it, it has to be Y and X reverse. Click that and let's name that, double click after grouping that and name it y x reverse and y vect okay and let's display that again control v that and v to r so now we completed all diagonal vectors all we need to do now is we learned it from the previous example all you need to do now is move that center point in between x and y, between x and y rev, and all that diagonal points that we just created. So let's you know, and then we the other important thing is that you have to make sure that it goes in the right direction, in the right order. So let's start from the top right hand corner, which is that. So you just simply type addition, then you get that in control C, control V and then we do the same thing for the next one uh, so b to r that allows that center point to move bottom corner and the right top corner so we know that it has to go clockwise so make please make sure that it runs in that way so now we're gonna create a line to connect these four points with polyline so double click and type polyline and you grab that and hold down shift and you're going to connect four points to v in polyline so hold down shift and connect to v hold down shift connect to v ditto the same applies there so you see that is it's still open on one side top side so to close that all you need to do is set the boolean to true 
So that will command the polyline to close the loop. So now we've got the square, which is complete. Great. And let's try to rotate that by typing rotation. You'll be able to rotate that square that we just generated. Uh, connect PL to G, which is polyline to geometry. And we'll have to create a, um, uh, a, a radiant, so which is between 0 to 360, uh, three, represent a 360 degree. Let's type a uh, number uh, that allow you to uh, control between numeric or this rounding number. Uh, so I'm going to give minimum to maximum 360. So that way you can generate another slider. So, but anyway, so this is a lot simpler way by typing 0 to 8. So let's create a radian node that transform that numeric data into radian. So R to A, which is, which is angle. So if you strike a slider to the right direction, uh, to, to the right side, then you can see that square is rotating. Uh, let's hide that, right click and turn off the preview, right click turn off the preview. So what we're going to do, uh, just create geometry, double click and type geometry that you'll be able to connect the last one and you'll be able to see that. Uh, just drag the whole thing uh, and turn right click and turn off the preview. So you'll be able to see the last information. So if you move your slider left and right, you'll be able to you'll be able to control the size and rotation of the uh, point. So let's try to move the uh, location of the uh, square. We know the center point is currently set zero zero zero. If you want to change that, let's type zero to number two. But this time I type zero point zero so that you can control with more resolution. So this way you see the point is moving but the square is moving different direction. So to make this uh, rotation to move correctly, uh, you see that the Y is moving and X is moving a different direction to the square. Uh, to correct that, all you need to do is assign the center point to the center of the rotation. So rotation needs a center point. Now you see the uh, squares are moving uh, along with X and Y. Uh, okay, and the rotation does work. Uh, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching.